Hello everyone, I am Bobby and today I have a super useful Shopify tutorial for you. Uh, we are going to learn how to add two buttons to the imagery text section in Shopify like this example I'm currently showing. This is a great way to enhance your store's design and give your customers more options. As you can see here, I have two completely different buttons side by side and one is solid and one is outlined. Now let me show you how to do this step by step on the down team that I'm currently using. I think this can be applied to any team, this same principle, but I am just now doing it on the down team. To begin, we are in our Shopify admin, so let's go to online store and inside the teams page click customize. Now we are in our Shopify customization page and as you can see I've already built a normal image with text section with the default one button. Everything looks great but we have a little problem when it comes down to adding a second button. Uh, so if I try to add another uh, button from the ad block uh, menu I click it and you can see it won't let me. The Default setup only allows one button, so we need to enable it by modifying the code by going back in our uh, Teams page. From here, click the three dots and then click Edit Code. We'll start by searching for the image with text liquid file. Uh, here it is. Here we need to find the line of code that sets the button limit so we can search with Ctrl plus F for me command F on our keyboard and type button dot main. Uh, we can click enter and from here let's change that setting from one to two and this small change will allow us to add a second button to the section. So click save, go back to the customize page and if we try to add a block we can now add this second button you can click on it uh, you can modify its text for me it's our story and you can modify its button link i will just put something random and then you can set the second button to be an outline button using the outline button style. So you see how it appears differently and appears better. However, uh, you can also see that both of the two buttons are stacked on top of each other, which isn't what we want. So we have to fix this by again heading to our code. Uh, first, you, you need to click save. Now you can exit again, three dots edit code now you can search for only button uh, and you can see this is the piece of code that we're searching for you need to select from uh when the button so from here all the way down to the end for so you can select this o after you have selected this piece of code you can go to this page using the first link in the description of this video from here uh, you need to copy this exact code till the end for you need to copy this and then replace it in the file that we have selected so we replace the code that we just selected with this change we have basically added a button wrapper as you can see and the only thing left for us is to just style it so let's head over to the component image with text as you can see it's right here from here you need to go all the way down after that you can go to the same page that we copied this code before you can now copy the at the bottom you can copy this styling code for the button wrapper copy this and just paste it on the bottom of the page click save now you can uh, you also need to save the code that we've changed earlier here and after that you need to click exit and again uh, go to the customize page and there you have it uh, please keep in mind that the text on the buttons shouldn't be too long otherwise it might mess up the alignment lastly if you want to change the styling for either button head over to the team settings then uh, go to the scheme for the section that you've 
basically chosen. In my case, it is the first one. So I click on it. From here, you can modify the solid button background uh, as you like. Uh, I will keep it as it was before. Uh, you can also modify uh, the text cover, for example. And uh, if you want to style the second button, you need to change and adjust this outline button cover. You can see as I change it, the cover is changing both the text and the outline of this button. I will revert it to what it was used to. And that's it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you like this video, uh, you can give it a thumbs up, comment it, and don't forget to subscribe for more unique Shopify tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.